Hey guys, how you doing? It's Keptic here bringing you another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Thursday. And today I want to go over, um, do I need to work help desk as my first job in IT? And uh, this question is hard to answer because, and I've seen, I have two people that made similar videos to this. So one is Heath Adams from TCM. The other one is John Good. Um, another cybersecurity advocate. So we have two cybersecurity guys made a video on it, but now it's coming from me, someone that actually has worked IT support or help desk or service desk or desktop support. So um, this question, uh, I, I don't, so the problem with this question or the problem with me answering this question is that when I was first, when I first started IT and I know it's still the common trend in Reddit because I'm on Reddit a lot. So this common trend is go get your first help desk job. And then you could get a job. You should be able to move up the ladder after that. Yeah, you have to go to help desk. You can't find a job. Go 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 get the A plus. Go go to help desk. Right. The issue with that is, is that a lot of people give you advice and tell you to go get the go get help desk and then go get the A plus because they never were able to get another job. So that's the issue with 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 that. So what is my opinion on this? Like, what do I think about this? Well, to be frank with you, I think that. Um, you can get a different job outside of help desk, outside of that normal help desk job, because I don't know some people don't like talking to customers. Some people don't like being on the phone. Some people don't like dealing with ticketing systems and dealing with stupid, dumb issues like Excel or Outlook. I, and I'm going to say it because I know these guys, I know people that are like that. Um, yeah. So you, you can skip help desk. Would I recommend you? Would I talk bad about help desk? No, because I've been in help desk before and I know that someone that has worked as someone that has worked help desk, I am well rounded because I have touched networks. I have touched uh active directory, I have touched Office 365, I have worked with customer service. So my soft skills are a lot better in comparison to someone that has not done any of these things. So because the thing is when you work with soft skills, specifically soft skills, talking about soft skills. If you work in IT support or help desk and you have soft skills, you could tailor that that skill to your next role, whether it's sysadmin, network admin, or cybersecurity. So I would never talk about help desk. I'm not going to be little help desk because I don't help desk myself. And I know that if you go into help desk and if you're brand new starting out, you will be well-rounded after that. You will have fundamentals. You'll have a strong base after that. It's like building a house. You have a strong base. The house will be fine. If you don't have a strong base, the whole house will fall apart. So if someone that's brand new trying to come in and you recommend to go, go get it, go get your first job as help desk. If you can't find the job for some reason, if you tried everything, I'm talking about like fix your resume, talk to hiring managers, network online with social events. You just tried everything for deal left for you. Even apply to internships and then got hired after the internship, and you're not getting a job at all, then you're going to have to go somewhere, right? You're going to have to get some sort of job experience. So sometimes people do that. They try everything. They can get a job and ended up just, they ended up just landing and help desk. But then the problem with, with this thing as well would help this. The problem with help this is that a lot of people that do help this, they get stuck and help us. And then they can't go anywhere. They're literally like stuck. They're like stuck in limbo. Like, Oh, I'm now I'm stuck in this job. I can't find a better job. I, I can't go anywhere after having the help desk experience. That's the problem with it, with, with trying to get a job and help desk is that customer service, but also people get stuck in that job for two to three years, up to five to seven years, and they, they can't go anywhere. But that, that goes back to you. Like, what certifications do you have? What skills are you learning? What projects are you working on? What are you doing to level yourself up? So you could go into sysadmin, network admin, cybersecurity. It goes back to you. So to answer this question, you could get a you could get a job without being at help desk if you do the right things, if you have the right skills, or if you're in an internship or you're doing social events, it's possible for you to get a job. For me, what I what would I recommend as far as getting your first job is concerned, besides help desk? I would recommend you get a higher job because the thing is with me is that, and I commented on on uh, Heath Adams' post about it, you could get a higher job and help desk. The thing is with help desk is that I, I, I can't talk about help desk. I can talk bad about help desk because there are different tiers of help desk. You got to keep in mind there's tier one, tier two, tier three, 
there's help desk, there's service desk, there's desktop support. So some of these positions, you're not taking phone calls. You're actually taking level two tickets or tickets are getting escalated to you and you get paid a lot more. Or you're working more with projects or you're working more with vendors or you're working more with patches and updates and you're not really dealing with customers as much. So that's those high tier level jobs like service desk, desktop support. But in order for you to get those jobs, you got to learn the actual skills whether that's through SSEM, creating packages, you may need to know PowerShell, you may need to know Python, you may know some sort of coding, you may need to know about cloud or Azure services, you may need to know about AWS, like these higher tier jobs, you need to know about VMware, Citrix, uh, Cisco call manager, Zen app servers, you know, all that stuff that I'm talking about right now, you need to know these actual skills and how do you learn these skills? You go to the home labs and the projects, you do the home labs and you add those skills to your resume and you start applying for these higher level jobs. And I'm going based on experience because I'm also a tech trainer outside of my full-time job. I'm a tech trainer. So I have seen people jump like from getting that first job. They literally skip help desk all together and then they go into desktop support or they go into a higher tier job and they're actually in a much happier place because they don't got to deal with customer service as much. They only deal with the ticketing system. They deal with tickets that are level two tickets and they deal more with vendors and they do desktop support and they're... Actually, they like they really like their job, and I seen those same people that I have trained jump from desktop support to cybersecurity, network admin, sys admin. So, to answer your question, do I recommend help desk? You know, if, if you can't find a job, you're gonna have to go into help desk. Uh, it's not for everyone. I'm telling you right now, it's not for everyone. You gotta have good customer service, and you gotta have a lot of patience. But hopefully, that answers your question. In a nutshell. You could skip help desk if you have the right connections. It's sometimes it's not what you know, it's who you know. A lot of things are involved for you to get a different job besides help desk, all right? With that being said, I hope you have a good day. Take care. Later. Peace.